Well, it's that time again, everybody. The Live Golf Post Game Show. Thirty-six holes down, eighteen to play at Live Golf London. Dom, you've got Patrick Reed with you. Ooh, Patrick, a round of sixty-four, fantastic round. Can you talk us through it a little bit, please? Yeah, you know, uh, I think the biggest thing today was, you know, I feel like I hit the ball just as well as I did yesterday, but I capitalized today on putt. And uh, escape either with a good chip or you know making a long putt. And keep my momentum going and, you know when you start getting momentum start getting going on this golf course but if you start running into some of those par fives that come pretty quickly uh, you know you can make some birdies in a hurry and I was able to do that and capitalize coming in towards the end and I think that's key you know is coming around this place and uh, capitalizing when you have when you can fall back of Cam Smith on a golf course like this what do you think you need to shoot tomorrow to catch him you know I'm, I'm just gonna have to look at kind of pin placements and what the wind's doing. And um, really, I would think I have to go out there and shoot another seven or eight under par to have a chance. So uh, the good thing is I went out there and did it today. So I know it's out there. Now it's just go out tomorrow and, uh, you know, hopefully be just a little uh, a little sharper and, uh, you know, make just a couple more putts and make it interesting. The first six, eight holes are really crucial, aren't they? Because if you can get through those even one or two under par, then it's really game on. Oh, for sure. Um, I think that's the thing about this golf course is you know, I, I, I was fortunate enough to start on 16 and even though I didn't capitalize on making birdie on 18, once you get to one, it turns into a, uh, you know, into a, a stretch. I mean, at one, two, three, four, you, you have to try to avoid the trees and really just, you know, hit quality golf shots. And then after that, you get kind of a breather there on five and then six just comes back and tries to slap you in the face. But, uh, you know, six bit me yesterday and I was able to bounce back today with a birdie on that hole. And, if you can go ahead and get a bird in that hole, you're, you're stealing one from the field. Thanks for your time. All the best tomorrow. Thanks, man. Emerson counts out Patrick Reed tomorrow. Eight under par, four back of our leader, Cameron Smith. The Live Golf post game show in full swing. The concert outside in full swing. And I can tell that by how much the commentary box is shuddering uh, due to the bass that's coming from the stage there. Ripper GC with the overnight lead. That is our commentary box. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> there he is. The drone just outside. Louis Eusthuizen, thanks for joining us. You've certainly not got the Stinger Dunce hat on tonight, have you? The overgrown hat that you take everywhere with you. We've talked about your round of eight under par, 63, you're nine under, you're in contention. Uh, you're asked about that a few moments ago, but Stinger. 17 under par today. Actually, at one point, you were 21 under par for the day, and you had a pretty healthy lead. Just pegged back towards the end. Were you aware of how well it was going for your team during that round? Yeah, I was. Uh, I watched a little bit of leaderboard, and then uh, I saw Shaw was having a really good round. I saw then Dean started playing well as well. And um, yeah, I saw we were, I think, 25 or something under the stage. and. And um, it's pretty amazing that, uh, you know, from we were early on yesterday over par, uh, we were lying 12th, and then we had a really good day to get to 500 and, and a really good day today. Take a look at some of your highlights. Oh, this is from last year. Yeah, Charles, Charles had two putts there to win, so. Yeah, but that was the only putt he missed all week. <laughs> if you got two, take two. <laughs> yeah, the winning score last year in the individual competition was seven under par, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. And you. Uh, three with Henny Duplessis, three stingers on the podium, as well in the team uh, in the team competition that you won as well. I mean, it was a South African clean sweep. What are your memories of that, Louis? It's only just over a year ago. It feels like five years ago. Yeah, I mean, look to to be able to to stand on a podium um, and.
and uh, be one, two, three as a team, and then as a captain, w winning the, the the team event. Um, that was pretty special. I mean, I, I said to the boys, I don't think we're going to ever top that. So, if, you know, having three or, or taking all the podium spots, but uh, to come back here and being uh, the true defending champions of of this event, um, there's a little bit of pressure on it, but. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you just want to play well and and to give yourself uh, some chance on Sunday. I was going to say, there might not be any way to top what you guys did last year, but you, you we showed a little look back piece featuring all you guys that you graciously took part in. And you said it would be really nice to be the first ever defending champion. You realize this is the first chance there is to be a <laughs> d defending champion, and you guys are right there. Talk to me a little bit about the, you guys have this great team chemistry, and you, and you really don't take yourselves or each other too seriously. But there will be some chat tonight about being a defending champion. Take us inside that room with you a little bit. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, coming off the day we had today, we obviously we, we're playing well. So um, tomorrow is going to be um, probably getting that nerves in the star just a little bit um, out of your system and, and then just have a go at it. We know the scoring is going to be low. We, we saw it today that it's, uh, it's a golf course where you can make a lot of birdies. Um, I quickly ran into Brandon. His driver cracked on the golf course. He played without a driver the last uh, seven or eight holes, he's saying. So hopefully you can figure that out tonight. But... Um, you know, unfortunately, he's got to wear the hat tonight. <laughs> <laughs> crack driver or no crack driver, he gets the, uh, yeah. the hat tonight. Let's take at some of the uh, uh, highlights here. Dean Bermas has been a terrific signing for you, hasn't he? This was for birdie at five. Yeah, Dean, when he gets it going, you know, he hits the ball so far. And um, when, he, when he gets a little bit of um, birdies on the run going, then um, he's really a good threat. David Fairty is in love with your golf swing, by the way, Louis. This is his second and the sixth. That's a very long line of people in love with that golf swing. Yeah, I was. Uh, Does it I, feel? I, I lipped out on five for yeah. only one, so that was pretty. The, the, my second hole of the day, so. Uh, I felt on the range that I was striking it pretty good. I've always wanted to ask you: Does that swing feel as good as it looks? Some days. <laughs> <laughs> some, some days I don't know what I'm doing, but uh, I always try and go back to having a good rhythm. Yeah. That's on the tee at 11. We were on 59 watch for you at one stage, Louis. Yeah, the, uh, you know, the, the short birdie putt on 17 I missed, and then on one, a gust came up on my second and, and completely got me off guard and, and just lost concentration on that first putt out the fairway. But, but um, yeah, but I, had a, I could have had a shot today. Had a... Schwartzel for Eagle at 18. Dean Burmester, Arlo mentioned it. What a welcome addition he's been to your team from a skill standpoint, from a world-class player standpoint. But he also happens to be an extremely funny guy. Who is the funniest man on your team? I don't know. We all have our moments. Um, I want to <laughs> say the four of us really, um, we really gel well together. Um, we always have a laugh, and um, we always feel like... Uh, don't take it too serious outside of, of the golf course itself and, and have, have a good time. If you play bad, you play bad. You're going to have those days. But um, tonight we'll we'll have a drink together. The, the bunch of us will have a, a nice drink and and then um, back to business tomorrow morning. Well, we'll South Africans have this fierce sporting identity, don't you? The spring boxing rugby, the pro tiers in cricket. I mean, how much of an edge do you think it gives you that you are an all South African team? So effectively, although the name doesn't suggest it, but you're you're representing a country. Yeah, yeah. That that to me was was a big goal when I got the captaincy. I wanted to have an all South African team, and um, you know we got great young players coming coming through. We have. Um, you know, Ulrich Potrita was just, he was in my foundation. We have uh, Christo Lamprecht, who was also in my foundation. And Golf RSA is doing such a great job um, of bringing up the talent in South Africa. So, um, you know, hopefully down the line we can get those youngsters uh, to come over to the team. But, uh, um, you know, for now, us, us old guys need to need to try and get the win done. Speaking of uh, youngsters, who, who's this young fellow here? <laughs> Man, There's that was, the claret that was a wild <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> That was 13 years. 2010, yeah, at the old course, St. Andrews. How, I mean, how much are you thinking about Hoylake already? Um, I did tweak a few things this week um, on my, on, on clubs, like, oh, on, on clubs and just getting ready for Hoylake. Um, I liked it that it was quite windy yesterday and, and practice day sort of, back of my mind is, is the open in a couple of weeks time. Um, 
but yeah, tomorrow the Open's got to wait. Um, the Stingers <laughs> need to get something done. Well, all the best for tomorrow, Louis. Thank and you. then we're rooting for you and the other 15 Live Golf guys <laughs> at Royal Liverpool in the Open Championship, the 151st Open Championship, of course. Louis Eustazen will hope to captain at Stinger GC to their second victory of the season and to defend their London title tomorrow. That is the situation the at the concert here, just behind our booth, but we can head to the practice tee now and join Troy Mullins. I'm here with Kim and Tringali, um, but we're admiring Bryson Louis, we get over the fence right here on the range. <laughs> um, but what were you just working on? I mean, you had kind of like everything today. You had a lot of pars, a birdie, an eagle, one bogey. Yeah, it was a pretty flat day, uh, but I'm just working on hitting a few three woods or uh, my bogey I had to chip out from a tree. So just really trying to get my starting line and just see the ball fall a little to the right. That's the shot I'm usually hitting with my three wood. So Smarty, my caddy, is just making sure my that I'm lined up properly. Can, we, can we see one of these real quick? Yeah, yeah, here we go. All right. It's nice when you come out here, you kind of just work on one thing and then you're in and out, go home and rest. That looks great. Little Not baby cut. Not reinventing the wheel, just trying to iron out something to make me feel more comfortable for tomorrow. Because there's about four or five, like there's a handful of these clubs off the tee. So I just want to get to a place where I can be comfortable with where I'm starting it. You always look comfortable out there. We never see you happy, upset, nothing. How do you stay so even keeled? Um, well, it's just a long way to go, right? You never know when you're going to be, you know, until the last hole, there's always something to play for. And so I just try and keep it in perspective. That seems to work for me. Well, I spent a lot of time with your wife today, and I feel like she's a big part of that. Um, and just that you're such a family man and you guys have such a great relationship, but she keeps you very grounded. And she, she does. does. You do something called grounding, right? With, is that what it's called? She, uh, yeah, when you just get out at barefoot and on the earth, um, she likes to get out in the mornings on the beach and she gets me to go with her every once in a while. But you guys are such a team, the High Flyers, and she told me she's kind of the captain of her own team of wives and, and moms out here. Um, it's yeah, true. She, she's she's great, yeah. She has, a, she has a lot of friends and it's fun for her to be out and amongst with the other ladies and mucking it up. She, she does really well with that. I mean, she does more than that. She's like, she does yoga. And I think it's really cool that the wives have become such close friends and like they have a prayer group, she said. Yeah, yeah, it's, really it's a special. big family. And you know, even our, our team's an you know, immediate family. So she, she spends a lot of time, tries to, uh, and it's good. We're, we're lucky to be out here. Can you get another one for yep, us one while more. we talk? Um, you have the fields of honor on your hat, and she she gave me a little insight that um, sometimes when you're praying for someone, you put their initials on your ball. I, I started to I started to do that a few years ago when uh, her brother-in-law wasn't doing well, and that's just another thing that helps give perspective, right? Like we're playing golf, we're having fun we're competing but there's much bigger issues out there so when you can take the pressure off yourself and um, you know be intentional for someone else I think it helps you just you know it helps me to relax and remember it's just a game at the end of the day so well I think that's the answer to what I initially asked how do you stay so cool and that's that's really special all right well Thank you. I know you're almost done so I appreciate yeah, your time I think that's it for me those last three were on the button so <laughs> yeah <laughs> no more work for can't today. wait to see that tomorrow thank you Troy thank you you got it well he's got a whole rolodex of celebrations hasn't he Cameron Tregali and this one is the cap off and the bow as well Cam Smith as he said to Dom a little earlier he was heading straight to the range just to work out a couple of things what, what do you think it might be that he's having a look at well, he's hitting driver here. You know, he had a couple left uh, on the inward half, and just you know, working on his downswing. It looks like there with his coach. Um, 
He's not doing a swing overhaul or anything, usually just a fundamental or, or it's something, a common refrain that he's worked on many, many times before. Just trying to get the right, as they say now, feels, which I've never understood, get the club in the right position where it feels like you don't have to think about it. Folks looking forward to tomorrow. We are so excited, says Abby Marinette, to attend our first Live Golf event tomorrow. Go Ripper GC, Cameron Smith PGA. And just when we see the range there, I'm reminded of last year and our inaugural event, when we saw the players on the opening day, you know, practicing, getting ready for the opening round, and the teams of people fans yeah. that were walking in on the left hand side that was a, a memory that will stick with me for a long time it was almost like a moment of build it and they will come <laughs> yeah it was i mean obviously last year was brand new the tickets weren't sold out in advance or, or anything like that there was a lot of promotions to to get people to show up but the the neat thing and i think the encouraging thing to all of us within live golf david was was the experience they had and everyone you talked to. We were we were amongst them a lot more last year than we have been this year because of the location of our booth, but everybody just had a great time. And it, that has been a common refrain every event we've gone to. The, the, the fan experience is second to none, and I think that's one of the main reasons for this astronomical success in no time of our league. Yeah. Henrik Stenson is seven under par individually, and he contributed to the Majestics today who I wouldn't say they'd be disappointed because they're still in with a shout. In fact, six teams are separated yeah. by seven strokes, but it is their home tournament and they haven't finished on a podium yet so far this year. I mean, tomorrow, if they go low, I think the crowd will go crazy, David, won't they? Yeah, I, I think all four of them will shoot for uh, every flagstick tomorrow. You know, it should be fun to watch. You know, that's for sure. But I'll tell you what I think is one of the coolest things that we have here at Live Golf. We had uh, Cameron come in uh, yesterday after shooting 63, you know, when really all you want to do as a player is just go warm down, figure out what you were doing right, leave it alone. You know, now we've got Louis Oosthuizen coming in after 63 as well. You know, these guys are so cool. They, they get it. They understand that, you know, it, 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 we're all part of the same business. It's an entertainment yes. industry, you know, and, you know, they make a difference. Yeah, and they've got franchises, teams that... Yeah. Uh, they need to brand and they need to market and they certainly understand that. So going into the final day, Championship Sunday in the team competition, it's really tight. Ripper 23 under, Stinger 22 under. The range goes in the four aces. They have form, those two. They are both 19 under par. Doesn't look like it'll be a three-peat. Three in a row for Torquay. They are in last place on seven under par, but they've had a really good run. And Cam Smith has worked out what he needed to work out on the practice range. And he is signing just about everything that he's put in his general direction. It's gone very dark outside, hasn't it? Hopefully, it has. Hopefully we're going to see a little bit more sunshine tomorrow as we did on Friday. But it could be a fantastic championship Sunday back at the place where it all began for us in June of 2022. That's the situation. Cam Smith with a 67 today to add to his 63 yesterday. He has a three-stroke lead over Thomas Peters and Louis Oosthuizen and his teammate and compatriot Mark Leishman. Patrick Reed not out of it by any stretch on eight under par. Bryson DeChambeau, a 16th consecutive under par round. That's a new live golf record. Charles Schwartzel was five under today. Dean Burmester, four under today. That really helped out Stinger. And they'll start in second place. Solid from Poulter and Westwood as they hope to get the Majestics onto the podium. Jakarta started off superbly, just fell back a tad, as did the Fireballs down to 10th place on 11 under par. So how is the team pylon looking uh, in the forest here in Hertfordshire? Ripper GC, can they get their first team title a one-stroke lead over the South African Stinger GC who won here of course in London last year the range goats in the four aces not too far behind on 19 under the crushers and the majestics on 16 under as well certainly not out of it it's been another terrific day we hope you can join us for championship Sunday here 
in Centurion Club in Hertfordshire in London from us all here at the Live Golf Broadcast. Goodbye for now. We'll talk to you tomorrow.